Hi, we are here with Hi, Coughing Brandon. Brandon. Yes, yes. And tonight he's going to talk about... Uh, another session in the ongoing saga in Legend of the Elements of Robbie of Robbie's monks is trials and tribulations. Uh, let, let's hear it from no 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 no. I want to hear it from you. Let's hear it from you. Yes, you are the dungeon master in this sense. Uh, I want to hear you regale us with so, what happened in your in your. So what was the what was the highlight of our hour and twenty minutes <coughs> of play before you tapped out? Uh, so technically, it is tapping out. I, You're there going, I tap, I tap, I tap. Just, I, I, he took off the glasses. It's kind of like Robbie in the in the room with all them women uh, or dudes. I, I think that one, the that, that, that was just special. It's, it's another Robbie moment for you to remember for all so time. So what was the highlight of tonight? Oh! Robbie got 11 guys on the dude meter <coughs> This is... Yes, he, yes, he did. Uh, you know, you turn the doll upside down like this, Brandon? Oh, God. It's an 11. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Robbie's new girlfriend. Uh, Ask him what he named her. What did you name her? Yeah. It was Bonnie. Man, oh. Bonnie. He's jealous of Tony. That's. There are some very deep Freudian issues there, Robbie. And look, he even got her pregnant. Very deep Freudian issues. Katie did that. Very deep <laughs> Freudian issues. They kept it in the hair household. I see. That's. Yeah. You, know, you know that she has red shoes. Hey, at least I don't have an Oedipus complex. That's a very specific thing to bring up all of a sudden, Robbie. Is there something you'd like to share with us? <laughs> no. Okay. Back to back to back to what happened. Do you know what an Oedipus complex is, Robbie? Uh, or did you just throw those words out? Isn't that one when they're in love with the mom? Yes. Yeah. See, I knew I knew that one. I got of that right. Of course, you would know that <laughs> one, Robbie. Yes. I actually got that one right. Shut up, Norman Bates. We're talking to Brandon. Yes, mother. <laughs> Very deep. Freudian issues. He doesn't even know what it's a guy and a girl anymore. Oh, yes, that was... Well, I hey, at least this session I did both. Unfortunately, the women were all weird Rule 63 <laughs> female versions of the Wasteland cast, which is kind of disturbing. When... <coughs> or people I want that I want that I hate, HS261. That too, yes. It was... Starting well, with, the, with, with Brandon... Ugh. Imagine that, bro. <coughs> I'm actively trying not to. Do you put picture yourself with a wig? Did you picture yourself when you were doing this description? A long flowing wig or a short hair one? Or kind of like one tied up with two little sticks in it holding your hair in place? Sure, let's go with that and one. And then you go, Me so horny! Uh, Me so horny! And this is why our sessions are only about an hour and a half. It's because you run out of story steam. Uh, yes. No, I think it's more along the fight. He turns so beat red, his brain overheats. He, he's the one who's playing on it. <coughs> uh. So which character won the worst character for today in, in actions? Because uh, technically Sean's is a victim. <laughs> That's technically true. Uh. I know you're about to say Sans, but he's a victim. That's and you can't hold a victim for being victimized. Even though you'd like to because it's Robbie. <coughs> this is true. Uh, uh, when the only one victimized is Bonnie here. Uh, uh, Bonnie will be so I mean, technically, Shining Global is the one doing it. But it was under... He's not doing it under duress. But it's profit. That's true. But of course, full of Ferengi accidents. But it was under Masaki's, you know, command. You know, pay, you know, she paid him to do it. So, you know, it's kind of the root of the thing goes back to her. But yeah, the, the but actual, they don't know it. That's Only true. Because. She didn't leave it vague. So, you know, it was his decision on how, how to go about it. <coughs> so I, I guess it does go to him, actually. Sweet. So did you get a cheap point for that? Sure, why not? 
<laughs> Technically, he did. It, it, it caused you trouble. All types of trouble. Shouldn't he get multiple chi points? Because it's like the horse, the women, the dudes, the the the, the, the robbing the bar. Yeah, go ahead. Just give yourself an advance. That's five, that's five chi. So yeah, go ahead and level up from that. I'll just put five on it. Okay. Now. Then you can spend as you wish. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that was. That's, did that's... you miss Shining Lobo after one week, or did you like Buzz Buzz better? <laughs> I liked how he how he how he flat out punched Buzz Buzz in the face. He, he shoved cotton candy down his throat. No, he punched him in the face and he was in mid eating. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, some symbolism there of the main character reclaiming his role. Yeah, from those, um, the temporary character. It's kind of symbolic in a weird way. And then you kill the transsexual. Yes. He's getting used to his bra. You <sighs> should be ashamed of yourself. Do you have something against transsexuals and cross-gender men? Because <laughs> you poisoned him deliberately. Uh, uh. But it's yes. okay, Brandon. We're on we're, we're on public access. No, we'll hold it against you. Oh, we're totally gonna hold it against you. Uh huh. So you almost killed me. <laughs> yes, you did almost kill Masaki. Don't you feel ashamed of yourself oh. that you almost killed your entire party today? <laughs> and then you make it. You'll make it like it's my fault. The party died. Yeah, but this means more things. Something's after you still. Ooga booga. That's not something after I, him. I, I'm, I'm busy punching people in the face. I don't care. That's true. Robbie's the one who's supposed to be hunting him. He's the, he should be the not one. Not only that, the guy <coughs> who he actually was... made the tea died, so it's kind of like... You don't know how hard it is to find good help, Brandon. <laughs> and train him to wear bras like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, those coconut bras are, are furry. Like a monkey. He will be missed. She'll make a new one. Well, she have time. Remember, the games are almost over. That's true. I'd rather get on with the wedding and get the wedding done that night. And how much did you earn? A hundred. How much did Shining Lobo earn? Like over three thousand. You're the richest person I ever know. <laughs> your, 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 your skills are merchant. And I sell more material during <laughs> game than you do. That's wrong in so many ways. Ugh. And I still punch people wait, in wait, the wait. face. So does that make... So that, I guess that makes Sans uh, merchandise? Yes. Oh, god damn it. Am I marrying the wrong person? Ugh. Hey, I still get sex out because at the end of the game, Ugh. Punching Lobo's theme went from punching in the face to something signing Lobo's going to have sex. Ugh. Yes. Hey, I'm not the one who deteriorated the game. Am I right, Robbie? Am I right, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's this, this is the version of Avatar that could not air on Nickelodeon. Oh, it will. It could. You know on what? Adult Swim. All we have to do is bleep a bunch of things. No, it's on Adult Swim, Robbie. You watch that shit. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <coughs> uh. But yeah, that was that was a thing. So, what was the highlight of tonight for you, Brandon? You know, I, th- I think, you know, Son's brief foray into animal husbandry. <laughs> you know, it was like the, it was the closest thing to, it was like the, only, the first real success he's gotten. Oh, I thought you were going to say that's the closest thing to a G-rated storyline that you've done. <laughs> that too, in a way. It was, you know, natural. It was just weird. In a good way. You know, it was technically just, you know, good, <coughs> honest labor. Mm-hmm. Technically. <laughs> that and when I clean, clean the kitchens. Oh, that too, yeah. You didn't even get your cotton candy because you failed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so... But yeah, the fact that I somehow managed to pull that off. Embarrass the Airbender clan. <laughs> uh, and get, get more uh, shame on your family name than what you had before. <coughs> um... You do know that you're going to get married soon, and that shame is already around town. And Masaki's mother is probably is a person of of high uh, caliber, and she's going to hear it and hear about it. Oh boy! 
It's gonna be kind, that's gonna be what kind of deviant is this man? Is this boy? <coughs> I I think they might have heard exactly what kind of deviant this boy is. Ugh. It's being spread around. He it, was being it, spread around. Except, yeah, he's it. <laughs> Ugh. He's like the 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 you the the pieces of bread you jam stuff between. <coughs> Yeah, this is going to get interesting. And he still needs to earn the money because, you know, he only got 100 out of that 3000 or so. Hey, that's still money. That's still money. So, I have to get my commission for my work. That's, uh, I'm like a manager. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, there's still, there was, you know, he did get some degree of progress. It's not progress. my fault he's an ass street boy. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. But yeah, so what's your big plan for next week, Robbie? Don't die. Don't look at me. Why don't you look at your sister? She's the one who got you in this problem. Uh, God. I'm just the one profiting from it. Yeah. Yes. Perhaps and I'm enjoying my wedding. Perhaps Sons should have a hard to hard work to talk with his bride to be next week. You do know that. Uh, the buffet, all those, 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 all your your rule sixty six or rule seventy seven, whatever you said it was. Yeah. Women, those are all large men that were being parodied, except for Tony. Oh God, the buffet's going to get wrecked. <laughs> it, it becomes. Suey, 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 suey. Remember, Brandon eats more than us at Incredible John's, and he hates that place. Gotta get for his money. twenty for for for. For our forty dollars or fifty dollars we spend there, Brandon eats enough for all of us. Got to make up for quantity, what lacks in quality. Uh, well, <coughs> otherwise, it's just wasteful. You got to have some kind of comment. How about you, Katie? You have a comment for him? <coughs> yeah. Do you enjoy being fucked around all day? For the one hour and twenty. That's minutes. a good question because this shows some really bad Freudian trends. thinking. Yes. By you and Brandon. Yes. Ugh. One for letting it happen, and two for you doing it. Yeah. I just make money off it. <laughs> Brandon, why did you let me do it? Uh, it's your decision. <coughs> that sounds like it's master talking. You must learn to. If you, you know, if I just had a, if you get denied, you'd never learn to stand on your own feet and. Say no for yourself. Wow, you really do enjoy watching me suffer, don't you? Oh, immensely. <laughs> oh, seeing him suffer? <coughs> Why do you like seeing him suffer? He's going to run to a wall and break his neck like he did in Star Wars <laughs> or later. Eventually. It's just be the great of life coming into a close. <coughs> the best part is, Bobby, once you get um, hitched... You can't be the apprentice anymore. That's the word I was looking for the whole time. I was oh, talking Robbie, to you, you forgot about that. You can't be an airbender anymore once you get married. Oh. What are you going to do about that? I have no fucking clue. You're supposed to be the mask, the one playing. You, the game is about your character. <laughs> well, no, I think it's more Shining Lobo's character now. No. This is like Happy Days, which started as Richie Cunningham. <laughs> but then people like Fonzie better, and they beefed Fonzie's role up. So basically, Fonzie's role got beat up, but you're still Richie Cunningham, who likes to do dudes. So, so Potsy and Ralph Mouth, which now isn't a catchy name in your world, <coughs> follow Fonz. Or Urkel. You may understand Urkel. Urkel was a secondary character. And all he does is come on the show and go, did I do that? But because the people loved it so much, his role extended until it became the Oracle show. And people never noticed. Even though it was about the father and the family originally. Unlike the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, still the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air all through it. <laughs> so it's still the Sans show. But now it follows Shining Lobo. Because Sans is so fucking stupid. So Fonzie is saving Sans. Yes. At a substantial profit. I'm going uh, to... <laughs> you know what? Strangely enough, I'm fine with this. You know why? Because you're like Sheldon the Bang Bang Theory. 
gay. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Think about it. He has no complaints about <coughs> doing dudes on adding to the dude meter It's when he has to do women that look like dudes. He does get very, he does go from, he does have this tendency. Think about when he touches Bonnie here. It, it's he, like gooey, ooey. Cooties. Uh. I have noticed that you know, he's he's very <coughs> enthusiastic about you know helping Shining Lobo sell him once he you know gets sent to the bar and whatnot. You know he was really excited yesterday about selling his black doll to Mike. There's some like horrible connotations to that. <laughs> they never caught on to that yesterday, both him and Mike. It's like white plantation owners <laughs> talking about selling the black slave. It's like role playing it in just, real life. It just flew over my head. I didn't even realize what was going on. Uh, you have to if you guys say it. Yeah. Uh, hey, Mike didn't notice it either. Oh, are That's we sure about this? Yes. Uh, I mean, because he's already got a whole plantation in that bucket. No, it, it's it's like a box, one of those uh, stuff you store in. Oh God! It's, it, no, it's the freaking boats that they brought over from Africa and stacked it. Oh, that's yeah, horrible! He, did that. he brought it one day to that's a talker. Right. Oh God, that's horrible! And then you got upset when I wrapped them all in towels and in, in, in napkins and put them back in the box because that's how they moved the slaves across the sea. That's true. Well, that's awful. God damn it, Robin! <laughs> You see what you did, Robbie? Okay, enough. <sighs> so, Robbie. I need to go hide in shame now. So, while you're hiding in shame for a week, what is your big plans to shame Brandon next week? What? He's used to shaming himself. He doesn't even you know, realize the. It, you, you drag know. Brandon down in the process. You know, like a boat with an anchor or a person committing suicide with a rock? The rock <coughs> drags down the other person with it. Oh. I think I'll just do more of what I've, I've been doing following Shining Lobo and doing whatever. How he can says. you follow Shining Lobo now that you're back with your master? Oh. Then I'll just listen to the little Shining Lobo in my head. What? You don't do nothing when you listen to Shining Lobo in your head because you're there going, why is there no reception? A little shiny Lobo on, Lobo in your head just left to you. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. See ya. Go punch faces. I'm gonna go punch faces. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Shiny Lobo's like, <coughs> fuck your crap, fuck it. Fuck your fire, fuck your fire. You like drag the little songs in your head behind the back and it's like having the other shoulder angel and shoulder devils, yo. Know, Remember, if, money. If, if, if Shining Lobo is one angel, then that means the other angel is Buzz Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No matter what I do, I'm screwed. Literally, in all for, in all manners and formats. Uh, it's just so e we so easy just to avoid this too, but this all could have been avoided, Robbie. How? It's Same. a master never started sexual in the windows with you last week. Oh, like months ago, you could have said no, and they was going to sell you. <coughs> I would have knocked him out and still sold him anyways. Oh yeah, he would have. Oh, but he would have been so enthusiastic about it. Dude. Remember, it's funny until after it happens for him. Then regret kicks in. Then the shame. And then a new week starts and it all starts over again. Sometimes multiple times in the same week. Yes. It, 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 it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of psych, it's cycle. It's pretty soon, no, really? I can't believe you're doing this to me. Again. And then he actually gets him into the bar and, hey, that? he's like, hey, I'm Sans. I want it. Yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't. He is. I go in there. Okay, we need six dudes to teach this man something. And Robbie sits there silently, and then when I make the roll, take him, and I walk out. He never plays that part up. So you, we basically say, oh, I'm a little teapot short and stout. This is my handle, and here is my spout. <laughs> we don't know what he does in the room to for That's foreplay. That's for the best. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best you play the four play out, then you make him stop. I have a bad feeling that he'd like enjoy it though. He might. He might not either, because remember it becomes embarrassment factor. Who will tap out first? Uh, Brandon or Robbie? Brandon. Remember, one time he brought the um, dirtiest book the, the dirty uh, 
Yes, the book of Rock Fantasy. And then in ten minutes, you got your character D loved. So shut up. Yeah, but remember, you can't use that because you failed at that book too. Oh, that's right. And to within ten minutes, ten fucking minutes. So shut up about the book. Oh, that's like his one one of his. Only it's like... one of his highlights. I brought the book out, and the titties embarrassed Brandon. But then he forgets. Brandon, Robbie, you got dis dis disavowed as a cleric of love in ten <coughs> minutes. Yeah. He's just... So what's worse, embarrassing Brandon with female titties, or getting disavowed as a cleric from the book in ten minutes? Yeah. So basically, you but fail as a cleric of love. You're a furry. You're a brony fan. And you suck at D&D now. What more can you suck at? Oh, wait. We already know that from the game. Never mind. Ah. Just remember that image, Brandon. What image? The image of oh, you all... Oh, Brandon. Robbie doing this. <laughs> hey, I suck at everything. Sometimes literally, apparently. Apparently. Do you have any last words to say tonight, Katie, two of them? Because they're kind of lost in shame and but regret. they're screwed. Let's see how we make Brandon Red next week. See you Remember, next. you're dealing with Katie as the leader next week. Shiny oh, Lobo. Oh, dear Remember, God. Fonzie oh, stepped I off never, stage. I still have my mother. And Shiny Lobo stepped off stage. This is true. Unless someone goes summon him again. <laughs> <sighs> Because remember, after the wedding, he gets his sex. Oh, God. I remember you so he doesn't need to be at the wedding. He can lie and say he was there, which is a good chance he would do. He'll go to the, <coughs> directly to the buffet and get the produce food he wants. <laughs> and watch you embarrass Robbie? No, he can do that himself. He's Why watch it? He's lived it. And the worst part is he's got to go gather family members for Robbie's side of uh, church. <laughs> Robbie, do you even have family? He's a monk and an orphan. So I've got to go gather him family out of kindness of my heart. <coughs> oh, God, it's all going to be... Oh, shit. This is going to be bad. <coughs> Come on, Jesus. Tune in next time for... At the table of way 